If you need wisdom, ask our generous God, and he will give it to you. James 1.5 Hello, Forest Hills and friends. You know, life is constantly full of choices and decisions. That's what life is, I think. Choices. Lately, we've been hearing a lot of talk about so many decisions when we don't have the answers or all the information. It got me thinking about making decisions in life that require faith, not in science or experts. While they are helpful and we need to assess and analyze the good information they provide, not faith in them. Our faith is in the one true God. How do we make decisions? How do you make decisions? I would love it if you could leave some comments below and share your process or how you go about making a decision. A few years ago, I heard a process that is biblically sound and is proved solid, so I'm going to share it with you today. It's not new, but in this time, it helps me to reflect on it. When facing a decision and discerning the will of God, there are four steps. You could say traffic lights. One, scripture. The Holy Sp- Number two, the Holy Spirit within. Number three, confirmation of other believers. Number four, practical circumstances. Think about when you uh, think about when you want to make a decision that is in agreement with God's will and the answers or answer you're considering. Number one, does it align itself with the word of God or is there conflict? You can ask the Holy Spirit for confirming scripture. That's step one. Number two, do you have peace from the Holy Spirit in your heart? Are you peaceful or is there anxiety? or a feeling of nagging confusion. Peace is the key. Number three, have you received confirmation from a select few people who walk with the Lord and are praying for you? Have you confirmed, have they confirmed or affirmed your decision? And the fourth traffic signal, practical circumstances. Do the pieces fit together? Think through the practical circumstances around the decision. Do they work together? Does it line up with scripture? Do you have confirmation from other believers? And are you peaceful about it? If all of those lights are green, you may have your decision. Prayer is an important part of all these steps, of course. In closing, we rest on Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. Have faith in God.